Hello. Good to see you. All right, there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100. Welcome to episode 184. Can you believe we're this far in? Uh, we still have uh, 65 more stars to go, so uh, we will. Uh, we're about one third of the way to the completion of this series, and uh, here in the Crown of Sand, we are going to be running the Scout Dex Hellfire Hammer that is ice imbued uh, to make sure that we, you know, get knockdowns on enemies. So once we get uh, knockdowns on enemies, we will go for um, a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of uh, damage out uh, out of our uh, hammer here. And uh, oh, if I could hit him, ouch! Uh, we'll go for a knockdown here. There we go. Oh, and we don't have enough uh, I-Core yet. Uh, so once we get a knockdown, we can go for a... Uh, a uh, oh. and, okay, let's go for a, a knockdown here, maybe? There, nope, we'll go for a Cloak of Winter, and that'll kill. Um, and the cool thing is, is that we are quick, uh, right at uh, 78 pounds, uh, because of the uh, Noble Silver and uh, the Hellfire Hammer and how they pair up and interact. Uh, so, oh, off to a little bit of a rocky start here, but uh, not too bad. And uh, let's go for a backstab here. We get some i -core. So that's equal to a knockdown, and we can just go for a Cloak of Winter and uh, put these guys down very quickly. Um, so the reason this is a lot of fun is because of uh, the fact that, oh, the fact that you are, oh, here, we're dead. The fact that you are a uh, giant uh, hammer, uh, while at the same time, uh, you know, going for uh, all these knockdown kind of oops, kind of attacks. There we go. And you can see there. Oh, Eo, just just come over here. There we go. So we'll knock that guy down. We'll let that guy do whatever he's doing. Oh. Okay. There we go. There's a parry. Uh, look at that, boys. I can parry. Eo's fighting slimes. Uh, okay, and not uh, not a very good way to start the area off here uh, by any means. But uh, we get 15% more uh, um, healing power from Eo. So as we uh, go for a couple of things here, now we have all the uh, accelerators here to make sure that we can get uh, Cloak of Winter off. Okay. And uh, let's go for a charge and knock him down, and then a Cloak of Winter. There we go. So as they are on the ground, uh, it allows great amount of time uh, for uh, Cloak of Winter to be able to uh, put the damage out on the enemy. There we go, we'll knock him down. We'll go for some damage here. I uh, can't tell what's going on. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we got, and see there, uh, Eo used Panacea's Essence to get rid of the I-Core leak from, uh, from, uh, from leak. And uh, so we're able to uh, keep ourselves uh, going there pretty easily, pretty well. Uh, but uh, oh, we get uh, just smashed in the face. But the fact that you have a hammer that you can knock people down with, and then you have, uh, and then you are quick mobility, it, uh, it really makes for a fun time, and on the sand here, you are able to be fast uh, because of how the, um, because of how uh, light, lightning charge works. Whoops. Okay. There we go. Let's go for a backstab here. Uh, okay, no backstab. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> uh, we're uh, in a... Oh, and we got shot in the face. Sorry, Eel. I'm not uh, being a very good partner as you uh, kind of carry me the entire way through here. There we go. Oh, oh we're going to get hit. Yeah. Okay, back into the cubby. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. What are we doing? <laughs> okay, and let's head on up here and dodge in. Oh, this guy can't see him. There he is. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, having all kinds of technical difficulties here, trying to dodge in and out of these little areas here and stuff. Now, uh, lightning charge is also very, very useful for uh, this fella, as we can do that, and uh, you don't get stuck on the sand almost ever, uh, as long as you have I-Core, obviously. 
And, uh, oh, we missed him. Okay, let's go for a launch. And we'll kill him. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Good idea, Eel. Let's go ahead and heal again. Now she may use Panacea's Essence here, who knows. Okay, let's go ahead and knock that guy over. And then this guy will knock him off. And then this guy will knock, knock him down at least. And then we'll go for another slam. So it uh, it makes for a really simple, you know... Yes, they are. Uh, it makes for a really fun way to uh, go for knockdowns on enemies and such. Um, as, uh, you know, it's, it's always a problem on how you... Uh, go about uh, getting up close to enemies and such, but uh, here in this area, it's just so much fun to, um, you know, get through the area pretty easily. Okay. Uh, see, and this guy thinks, he thinks he's cool, but uh, we can go for a couple of attacks here and knock him down. And we'll go for a Cloak of Winter and put some uh, damage out on him in there. So again, it uh, makes for a pretty, pretty simple way to uh, go about uh, damaging these fellas, um, but now we are slow through the uh, through the sand here. So let's see. There we go. And if we get two I core, we can't get two I core. Okay, that's no problem. I was gonna say if we can get two I core, we can use uh, lightning charge to get through here. Okay. And uh, the reason I chose Eo to come with us through here, besides looking fabulous is uh, the fact that uh, she has Panacea of Essence, so she can help get rid of uh, Leak, while at the same time she has Ice uh, attacks. So she's able to, oops, so she's able to uh, do the appropriate damage uh, on the enemies here. Okay, we'll get this guy. Oops, we're dead. And uh, because we have, oops, oh come on. Oh come on, he's so far away. Okay. There we go. And I can't knock him down. Oh, and we dodged wrong. <laughs> oh, good grief. Anyways. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, it still is a lot of fun to uh, da dash and dodge and smash these guys uh, as you go through here. Because you're able to, uh, you know, kind of go quickly with uh, lightning charge while, uh, while at the same time you don't uh, necessarily need to get stuck on the sand and uh, let's see how far up the hill uh, so you can get all the way up here and get shot in the face for a free for a free shot in the face um, before you have to uh, do anything okay and we'll knock him down go for a cloak of winter Let's see if we can get to him. There we go. And Eel will kill him for us. Okay, so we can uh, get back here uh, pretty quickly. There we go. There we go. There's two. And then this guy. There's number three. Okay. Very good. And because of that, now we can uh, go for these. And now we have two Icor. So we can just go across the sand uh, like that. And if we need to, we can kill uh, these things. There we go. Okay. Oops. Okay. And uh, we have two I core, one I core. Okay. <laughs> oh man, let's go ahead and heal up. Uh, thanks, Eo. Uh, this area, uh, just because of how uh, much of a problem it is, uh, it's it still is a lot of fun. Uh, if you can't get through here very easily, at least you can have a lot of fun uh, doing it. What is this guy doing? Let's go ahead and try for a knockdown. There we go. Let's go for a cloak of winter. That should kill. There we go. And so it can uh, make pretty easy good work of uh, of these fellas here. So as we go ahead and avoid the slimes, uh, now this slime here you cannot. Uh, avoid as it will always uh, come and get you. Okay. Whoops. Okay. And let's uh, go ahead and kill this one. Good job of you. And this slime you can't avoid either. But you can do that and as they jump if, if you uh, if you uh, dodge right away you can avoid them. Okay so let's get this big boy to come over here. And he's going to go ahead and 
do his lightning attack. So that's okay. He'll do more lightning attack. We'll dodge that. One. There we go. There we go. And uh, I don't think we can get a backstab here. Uh, it's very hard to get a backstab on this fella. But we can go for a Cloak of Winter now while we have time. Okay. Whoops. Okay, we'll go for a launch for sure. Because that will give us uh, a lot of Icor. And as he stands up, we will definitely go for that second launch. Very good. Okay, so that went uh, much, 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 much better that time. So let's go ahead and heal. Uh, at least one there. Okay, and then more slimes. But you can see that uh, versus the big boys, um, even even though uh, we have, um, you know, a really bad kind of way to uh, go through this area, um, lightning charge, if you have the I-Core for it, uh, definitely takes uh, a lot of the pain um, out of uh, everything for this area. Because uh, you don't, if you have two I-Core, Hopefully you have more than that. Uh, then you can, uh, you know, speed across the sand uh, very, very quickly, very, very easily. Okay, so now as we go to the successor of the throat fight, um, I uh, want to do a special setup for that uh, because uh, it's so fun to put her down uh, in, in in this way. Um, now, uh, since she's uh, weak to ice slash, uh, we are going to be running ice slash. New? No, it isn't. We were here at the beginning. Okay, you. She's curious about everything. As a good little girl. Okay. Uh, now we have to switch to Jack. So we'll go for his alternate version here, since he's looking good uh, in this uh, black kind of setup here. Now, uh, I don't know if you, uh, who saw uh, what episode that I've done. But uh, I talked a lot about uh, the float uh, of the weapon uh, paired with uh, lightning charge. Now, for whatever reason, if you um, use a greatsword like this guy, like the Zweihander, um, you see as, as you block, you uh, instantly stop uh, while you're blocking. But with the, uh, with, uh, the hammer here... It's interesting that you still have the walking float at the end of it. See that? We don't uh, stop immediately. There you go. Oops. Um, and so what that means is that it operates like a one-handed light weapon, uh, which is why it's uh, 56 pounds and why you can uh, use it in a lot of uh, different ways. But uh, so you have to be careful of your active and inactive edges as well, because um, uh, we talked about those a long time ago, but uh, you have to be careful for those because you uh, can absolutely uh, go off cliffs, but uh, as it operates like a one-handed weapon, there's no slowdown um, here with lightning charge as you still have that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful float uh, built into it. Okay, so uh, we're going to be running our Prometheus setup here. And, um, uh, what is the veil? Uh, it is uh, this one. Okay. And, uh, this is the build, and this is the setup. So it is a fantastic, uh, fantastic setup here, uh, for, um, for the successor of the throat. If you're having a hard time getting through her monstrous, monstrous amounts of, uh, health, then, uh, this might just be the build, uh, for you. Okay, so as you see here, we got to change these two out uh, to get bridge going, and uh, so there's a, there's a very weird and specific order here that we have to go for it, so uh, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay. Okay. And now, uh, Dex and Mind. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal. This, heal, this, heal, good, Jack, okay, okay, now we uh, can't heal anymore, so we have to uh, 
uh, kind of do everything now. Um, this, and this, and one more. Okay, and stun. Okay, and then this is uh, one-handed. There we go. And this is opportunism. And then we do this, and let's go. Now we gotta get through this cutscene, so hopefully no, none of our uh, gifts end uh, while we get through here. Okay, uh, wish us luck. Here we go. Three, two, one, end cutscene, and go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, and here we go. There we go. One stun. Okay. Too bad uh, dancing uh, blades is over. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and that is how you should uh, be ending the successor of the throat each and every time, uh, which is why uh, it's one of my favorite fun builds uh, to go through her because you can absolutely end her uh, basically instantly to the point that uh, she just doesn't even exist. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, but uh, it is kind of a difficult setup there as you have a lot of gifts to change and a lot of uh, items to use. And, uh, you know, you just have a, not a lot of time to actually make a mistake. And if you get hit with that first uh, attack that she comes out with, uh, it's over. You, you just need to start over completely. Because then your your buffs start ending and things start running out. And then you need more I-Core. And then you don't get her stunned. And then, yeah, it just uh, one thing cascades after another. And uh, it uh, just kind of ruins everything. So you just want to make sure that you get there fast enough and uh, you do the correct order uh, as you saw here in the video um, to make sure that you end her quickly now this is kind of the the one-handed speed build setup that i did for her but it is uh, one of my most fun and most uh, favorite uh, builds to uh, fight her with because uh, it, she she's basically nullified completely she got one attack off and as you saw about halfway through she got st uh, she had her stagger stage so she went down on her knees and then uh, the rest of the time she was just stunned in place and uh, and even and she didn't even get to go through her damage reduction phase uh, for phase two so she was uh, done one and done in phase one um, and the executioner Jack's blade uh, this blade is uh, no joke uh, when you are paired up uh, in this way as, she, as as most of the time she is stunned you're getting the opportunism bonus we have quick mobility because we're at uh, 51, we're right at the halfway mark for 103. So we get 20% out of Swift Destruction. We have the one-handed mastery and debuff buildup. So she gets stunned very quickly, very simply, very easily from, uh, let's see what our stun value is here. Uh, so our weapon has a, an 81 stun, which is really, really high. And that's why she gets stunned over and over and over and over and over. Um, and uh, it's just such a fantastic great way um, and then especially once uh, blade dance is active and uh, um, and going we get 45 seconds uh, out of it and every time we do a slash and if you'll notice uh, we didn't run out of stamina at all and that's because of Jack's uh, morale boost that he gives to us plus the 50 from stamina boosters so that brings us up to a total of 355 stamina um, and at 20, I, 20 stamina per strike, uh, that gives us 17 and a half uh, strikes, about 18 strikes, um, which uh, she's done in, a, in about 20. So there's, there's not really a, a whole lot of uh, stamina that you need. Uh, well, I mean, you need a lot of stamina, but at the same time, you, uh, you can actually account for it um, in the build and in the setup here with Jack. So Jack does two things. He gives you massive damage out of Fatal Surge, but also his... Um, his uh, morale boost is exceptionally important uh, for this build and this setup versus the versus the um, successor of the throat here. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hope you uh, had some fun along the way with me uh, in investigating my two most favorite fun builds uh, to go through the uh, to go through the crown of sand with and to finish it out here on the successor of the throat. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll be in the spire next.